Marka, Marka, how y'all doing today? I am utterly baffled at the limitations that people put on themselves. It is, it's, it's remarkable. I mean, like, it blows my fucking mind how many limitations people stick on their lives. So, as I've been doing these videos, I've started to kind of give you guys bits and pieces of my, of my past and my story, and... I'm gonna talk to you guys right now about a certain situation in my life. So, I got involved in some really shady business when I was very young, in my early 20s, um, and I ended up doing some time. I ended up going to prison, and you know, I got out and you know wanted to change my life, and, and did, and started you know the path to recovery. But I was still a felon. Nobody wanted to hire me uh, because of the charge and my driving record. They took my license away for seven years. Now, I'm getting it back. I'm actually going to Washington next week to get it back. Um, but they took my license away for seven years. And then I went through a massive amount of injuries and several doctors told me I'd never walk proper, let alone be physical, physically active. They wanted to put me in treatment and, you know, like see a psychiatrist because, you know, working out had been my life and they thought I was just gonna, you know, crumble and, you know, because I didn't have my passion. And if I was dictated to by circumstance, like so many other people are in the world, if I had said, well, these are the circumstances and this is just the way it is, so I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it, I would not even be close to where I am today. But I refused to believe the circumstances. I fucking refused, right? I am the creator of my world. And regardless of what other people say or circumstances that are put on, you, I was gonna do what I wanted. So I was very miserable, I was unhappy with life, had gone through injuries. Um, not only did I not have my license, I lived out in the sticks in Washington, 25 miles out of town, no public transportation, no way to get around, and I was basically stuck out there, and that's where I did most of my research on the body. So I got involved with a network marketing company, and I built an organization 300 people deep in 16 countries in 90 days. I walked three miles to the bus stop every single day. And I rode into town and I sold this product door to door. I went and knocked on people's door to door. When I would get home at night, I would, no internet, no internet at the house either. When I got home at night, I would use my 3D data on my little tiny shit smartphone and network with people in other countries to build a team. Every circumstance in the book was held against me, but I knew what I wanted and I set intentions and goals to go out and get it because I'm not a fucking victim of circumstance. Now, don't get me wrong. Every single day I look back and I see myself in somewhat of a victim role and I'm, you know, fine, I catch myself um, being a victim, but then, you know, I stop and I analyze the situation. I remember, hey, you have control of your life, not circumstances, not anybody else. So after I did that, I finally started to generate, you know, four to $600 a week from the network marketing company. Um, a little bit more than that, actually, some, some weeks, $1,000. So I took a backpack and I went to California. I bought a plane ticket and I went to California with 600 bucks. It wasn't easy. I got a job my first day, um, training out, out of a gym, found a place to live. Well, the gym closed down and shit, you know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't have a job. I didn't have a way to pay for things. The network marketing company wasn't doing good at that time. So what did I do? Right? Well, I was thinking about shit. Maybe I just get to go home and I get to refigure this out. But again, I fucking refused to be a victim of circumstance. I fucking refuse because I have the power of my I'm, I'm in fucking control. Nobody else is in control. And when you take control of your life, this is the kind of stuff that happens. You can create whatever you want. How bad do you want it? Marcy used to say, you get what you're, conscious, you're unconsciously committed to. Your results don't lie. They will tell what you're truly committed to. If you are unhappy in life, you're committed to an unhappy life. End of story. You are committed to an unhappy life. You are committed to the misery that you're sitting in and nobody is responsible except you. You take full responsibility of everything that happens in your life. And if you wanna change it, fucking change it. 
So, what's the moral of this? The moral of this is you have the fucking power to choose. You have the power to do anything that you want. And if you let your life be dictated to by the circumstances that surround you, you're always gonna be a victim. You're always gonna be a victim, you're not gonna live your dreams, and you're gonna be living the same old day, going through the motions day in, day out. I had every card in the fucking deck stacked against me. So many people said it was hopeless, that I'd never achieve what I truly wanted to achieve. Proved everybody wrong. This is Tyson James Lee, and I'm just about that action, boss.